What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today I want to compare JAWS and NVDA. So why would we compare these two products even though one is extremely expensive and the other one is free? But they do accept donations by the way with NVDA. So let's get this started. So with JAWS you get, of course, uh, better voice synthesizers, essentially. Uh, you know, they, it already comes with all the, the bells and whistles included. So if you want the nice voices, all, all, the, all the good voices. I don't know the names anymore, man. I haven't used a screen reader. In, uh, I use it occasionally, but I haven't used it like full time in like five years. I do sometimes still have to use a screen reader for school, but anyway. Besides that, uh, you know, you can get... With JAWS, all the stuff aren't included, all the voices that are essentially good. You know, you also get stability with JAWS. You get essentially very, very good braille display support. However, with NVDA, you get the standard voices, okay? I think you get one voice that they kind of coded, but it's similar to the one with JAWS, but it's not exactly it. Uh, you can download Eloquence is the one. You can download Eloquence. It doesn't come with eloquence, so you have to download eloquence. And to get eloquence, it's like five bucks, I think. So I mean, it, the way essentially with Jaws, you you get all the bells and whistles, and you don't have to pay for all the extra bells and whistles. However, with NVDA, it's kind of like okay, you know, Jaws is a built puzzle. You're buying a puzzle that is already built for you. NVDA is like you have everything there for you essentially you have you have you have where to put the pieces but you have to get the pieces you have the basic pieces to know what the puzzle is but to make the puzzle look good you have to hunt for the missing pieces essentially and that's not a bad thing because if you don't care about the voices and you only care about braille display support perhaps all you got to do is download the braille display drivers for your braille display and that's it and you you know you can get your braille display working on any computer for free. Now, if you if, if you're about that uh, full accessibility with audio and you know JAWS and you you want to be able to access uh, you know HTML5 websites with no errors and you wanna you you wanna get the best audible Windows experience, I'd say get JAWS. Now, if you have a braille display and you really don't care about the audio, just get NVDA. Because essentially with the Braille displays, as long as you have some kind of Braille translation system that translates uh, um, text into uh, Braille, and it works fine. And some Braille displays don't even need NVIDIA because they come with their own program. And, you know, it's like, if you want, for example, uh, the best of the best, then yeah, you can get JAWS. Honestly, I have JAWS because I've just kept upgrading the license over the years, and I think it's like... 50 bucks to upgrade the license every year and that's that's not bad but the initial buying i think last time it was 600 600 900 bucks and they have two packages and it's great you get it's kind of like um you're buying a, an apple product and then you're gonna go and you're gonna buy uh i'm gonna give you a brand here technology brand you probably only recognize huawei you know huawei is quality but you still get those missing pieces and i and I, you know apple you get everything Including the kitchen sink, you get everything. So it's like you you're comparing two of them. That like, okay, well, yeah, I got the I got the puzzle. Now I got I got to get all the pieces to the puzzle. So that's the difference between Jaws and NVDA. Now you know they're both essentially using similar platforms. Uh, Jaws uses a uh, um, more uh, closed platform services. So Jaws uh, it doesn't have it uses Python as well, which is a programming language, but it does not it does not give you access to like a console like NVDA so essentially they give you JavaScript which are cool but with NVDA you can essentially code uh, programs for NVDA in Python I honestly like the fact that they're doing this and I think it's pretty cool but you know with, uh, with JAWS you already get everything done you don't have to do anything you just install it and you're ready to go but with NVDA essentially you can either program your own software to get the, rid of the glitches that you don't like essentially you know and you can also download like pre-compiled programs uh that fix certain bugs and stuff with nvda so it's nvda is like an empty puzzle and you have to give the pieces to the puzzle now giving the pieces to the puzzle is not difficult it's just like 
it'll it'll say drop this file here in this folder and that's it you know copy this file drag it in this folder and this folder and done and then you restart VDA and voila you get yourself that bug fix or that feature you like in there and that's what it is this is open source and JAWS you're paying for quality you're paying for the updates every I think it's every month and a half or so you get these updates that allow you for always getting no bugs and everything is perfect all the time you know yeah you might reach a bug occasionally but you could just send it over to them and be like hey I got this bug uh, you might want to fix it you know and if 10,000 people send out the same bug then they'll fix it in the next month's update and you're paying for that kind of stuff that's what you're paying for in JAWS so NVDA is an empty puzzle that we get all the pieces individually. Jaws is a full puzzle with all the pieces already included. So yeah, that's the difference. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as I enjoyed making it. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.